We are in the kitchen using essential oil in a savory dish for this sponsored content. Krista Numbers from doTERRA is joining me with a recipe for orange chicken. Krista, I love it when you're here. I love being here. This is so fun. I'm so glad I get to be with you today. It smells amazing. I wish you could all smell this. And that's the orange, right, that you've got in the diffuser over there. We're smelling it. We're cooking with it. Talk to me about what it does. Yes, I love, love, love this oil. If you ever come to my house, this is basically what it smells like because I'm usually cooking something and I always have my diffuser going with like an orange or a lemon, one of these great citrus smells that makes your house smell great. The aromatherapy gives this invigorating, uplifting mood. And then when you ingest it, like we're going to in this recipe, it has immune boosting benefits. Does it really? So, mm -hmm. so all of the health benefits as well as the taste benefits So today. I feel like we need that at this time of year. For we're sure. wanting to boost our immune systems heading into fall. And it is, it's so crisp and clean. Now you made this orange chicken for dinner for your family last night. I did, I what tried did it say? out on my four teenagers and it was teenager approved. My 18 year old who's headed to college said, I need this recipe to take to my dorm with me. So that's when you know it's a win with well, the kids. Then it's definitely a hit. And is it easy enough that he's gonna be able to make it no problem? For sure. There's a few ingredients, but it's very, it comes together very easily. And like you said, it's clean. So I don't worry about you know him having to like do anything tricky or that. So step one, Ziploc bag and I just diced the chicken up into bite-sized pieces about an inch and I put um, flour salt pepper in my Ziploc bag and then you give it a good shake okay. to coat that step two I browned the chicken now it might not be cooked all the way through you don't need to stress about that having a thermometer on hand or anything just a few minutes I like using the griddle you can also do it on the stovetop brown it on both sides give it a few minutes, give it a good toss, and then into the sauce it goes. So let's talk about this yeah, sauce. Yeah, that looks amazing. What is in here? So I started with just a cup and a half of water, added some orange juice and lemon juice. That's kind of our base. A little bit of soy sauce and rice vinegar. So you have this marriage of these liquids. Now we're gonna add a little bit of heat and spices to it. A little bit of Yum. crushed red pepper flakes go in, as much or as little as you want. This is a recipe, like most recipes, that you can take and make your own. I'm just giving you kind of a blueprint. And you can do, if you like, if you like, like garlic, which I do, you can add a little bit more, oh, but about Put half a teaspoon. There. So you alter it to your tastes when it comes to the heat or when it comes to the soy sauce, whatever flavor you want to be maybe Absolutely. a little more strong. Yes, more Asian flavor, kick it up with the soy sauce. And then I did actually add in addition to the wild orange oil, which we're going to add now, I put a drop of doTERRA ginger oil in here, oh, which is okay. so nice to have on hand when you don't have fresh ginger or you just need a little bit and you don't want to buy a whole you know, piece what of the grocery store. What a good idea, store. yeah. So the orange oil is, this is where we get that kick of flavor. I'm adding more. You, I would do at least two or three drops. I love the flavor that it adds. And again, those immune boosting benefits. So we've got that in there. I did put in a little bit of cornstarch to start, so it's gonna thicken up nicely. And then we take the chicken and add it in and let it just come together as the sauce thickens. And soak the up The chicken those continues flavors. to cook, and yep, you nailed it. Soak okay, up so the how long does the chicken cook and marinate in that sauce? Oh, I would give it just a few minutes until you know that it's cooked through and as the sauce thickens. And then I actually sometimes reserve a little bit of the sauce to pour over the top. I'm such a yes, sauce person. so am I. You could even pour it over the rice yes. or whatever you made to go with it. What did you have with this last so night? So I did some brown rice and some broccoli. That is perfect. So simple, Ugh. so clean. I've got to take a bite and you have to tell me about the big convention coming up while I sample this. Yes, doTERRA is so excited to be hosting mm. our convention in person again this year. You can also join virtually if you're unable to travel. Um, or nervous about that. So it's uh, September 8th through 11th at Vivint. We'll have it here. You can see on your screen some of our highlights of past conventions. And this year, I love it. The theme is Evolve. And it really focuses on how all of us over this last year, year and a half, have evolved to have a global connection. So you can see oh, that's the theme coming together. Yeah, and it, it'll just be so fun. Whether you know nothing about essential oils or everything, there's something there for you, from the sourcing to the science to how to use them. And we have One Republic coming. One Republic I've performing. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, well that's not to be missed. And I love that you say it's for everybody. Whether you have used it, whether you know anything about it, this is the place where you can come to learn. And there's so many things that you can do with them, whether it's putting that in the entranceway of your home, cooking with it, those benefits. Exactly. So the, come and learn. Yes, yes. 
perfectly said. Thank you so much. Where so, do people get tickets uh -huh. to find out more about this? Yeah, so to find out more about the oils and convention, hop on doTERRA.com. All of the information is right there. And I would highly encourage you to check out this wild orange oil while you are there. Um, delicious. I just had one. The flavor's so good. I want to make this. I'm not the best cook, but if your 18-year-old son can do this, then I feel I'm like... I'm it in three or four I minutes. I can do it. You can Easy. absolutely do this. Easy. Yes. The perfect kind of end of summer light dish, too. Yeah. Krista, you're awesome. I love when you're here. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. For more on the sponsored content and the recipe, head to our website, abc4.com slash gtu. Up next, it's game time. We're playing Pictionary. I've got my pen ready. Dina, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I'm ready. Then three ways to create a space you'll love and want to spend your time. And in GTU Hour 2, Joey Fatone is back with us. He's updating us on his life and what's new in his career. He's a lot of fun. Tile for the Good Things Utah Kitchen, provided by Floor & Decor.